Hello again, YouTube. My name is Brie, and it has been a while. So, first of all, I really do want to apologize for my absence, especially since I didn't make an effort to let you know that I was going to be disappearing. I, I don't think I really planned to be gone for as long as I was. Things just happen, um, and I'm actually going to use this video as a little bit of a life catch-up, not really, um, an, I guess, an apology as well, but just explaining what's been going on. Um, otherwise, I, I do apologize for just disappearing on you with, like, no notice. Before I go on, though, I guess I should go ahead and talk about what's in this painting, because I have no notes, so I'm probably just going to ramble and go on for too long anyway, so I'll address this first. This is that same Persona sketchbook from, um, I want to say two videos ago. Uh, in this one, I'm drawing a different character, uh, Yusuke Kitagawa, and I... When I started this in May, I was just kind of approaching the end game for Persona 5 Royal. And yeah, I started this sketch at the end of May, started filming, did that initial wash, the first video clip, um, and then just stopped working on it for two months. I really did want to finish this. I'm the type of person that if I start something and then go away from it for a while, I usually completely lose interest. So it was just, I, I really wanted to use this to focus my attention and get back into filming with in kind of a low pressure situation um, because I was no longer particularly attached to it. But anyway, I'm nothing really exciting going on there. So I'm so positive. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what's been going on otherwise because it's not all bad um usually disappearing for a while unexpectedly is bad but um in my case I think in the last video I showed my Scotland travel sketchbook and at that point I had made a comment I'm sure I made a comment um that I wanted to learn and do better with landscapes I don't think I mentioned I was actually going to be taking a landscape painting class I've never done an art class before that's that's not completely true. I've never done a, a real art class. I did like, well, you know, art class in like the second grade or whatever. And then I did a semester of art in high school, but it was, my, my school had this four-year art program and I just had a half semester elective towards the end of high school. And we basically asked if we could just, you know, sit in, leave all the art students alone and doodle in the corner. I went to a prestigious high school. I needed a break. So I, I didn't really take an art class up until this point. And I was pretty nervous about it. The class I took was landscape painting by Justin Donaldson, who is a very incredible painter and he's very passionate about what he does. And I was so fortunate to be given the opportunity to audit that class. Um, I won a spot in a giveaway he was doing, so I was able to take this class free of charge, and I am so eternally grateful. I, I wish I could come back after that class and say, hey, look, this here's my amazing portfolio of work, but unfortunately, I was still working full-time or more than full-time, and there was a lot of other things going on. Plus, it, it's... I, I don't want to say it's hard to stay focused, but you know, art block is a thing. So I definitely had moments where I wasn't really able to create. It, it was a 12-week class. I can't believe we're finishing it tonight. And I've been gone this whole time. So I took a 12-week class and I, I loved it. I learned so much. I did the most of the class in gouache. Um, and I really felt I was starting from the ground up. So I had to learn everything about my media. The... The... In, like everything about landscape painting and just so much about painting in general and how you should see things and simplify shapes and you know, just the whole process I felt like I was starting from scratch so it it was a great class and I definitely learned more than I could have ever imagined I just haven't digested all the content yet so I fully anticipate that I will be going back to the class content in the future and revisiting it, maybe not in its entirety, but definitely many of the lessons. I did sign up for another class from Justin in September. It's an eight-week class this time, and I don't want to give up doing videos during that time again because I just did that for three months. Um, 
but that one's focused on gouache painting, so I think it's really going to help solidify the skills that I was lacking and teach me a lot of new skills as well, and then I could go back and do even better with the landscape class. So yeah, that that was the big time consumer um, for the last few months. Obviously, um, things have still been weird. I, I think I mentioned this before that I live in Florida, so the pandemic is still raging over here. Um, so we're still pretty much on lockdown. Not officially, but we we don't go outside much. Um, but because I'm still working from home, which is great, I'm so fortunate that my company allows that, I feel like I'm sitting at my desk all the time between work and then the class. So it was really hard for me to motivate myself to sit down at my desk even more to film on top of everything else. So yeah, you you just got to get away from your desk from time to time. I, um, (laughs) the last two videos ago, I did talk about video games. So I've been playing video games as well. Um, probably way too many. I think I got re-addicted, which was not in the plans. So I did beat Persona 5, um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Last of Us 2, and then I'm going to be starting Ghost of Tsushima soon. I'm really excited about that game. So very much, too much of that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading. Yeah, so what else is going on? Um, I don't know. It's, it's been kind of a chaotic time. Um, not all of it good either, I guess. One thing, and I mean, this isn't that big of a deal, like, medical-wise, but I have a sty in my left eye, and it was putting enough pressure on my eye that my vision has been blurry in that eye for a little too long. I know I should go see a doctor, but with the pandemic and limited hours and it's it's just kind of a pain and I have to go see one doctor to get an authorization to go see a different doctor to take care of it. It's, it is going down finally. So I can finally see better, but I've been on less vision for the last while. I don't want to say how I'm embarrassed. I really should be more responsible and do more adulting. Um, and then my cat was diagnosed with kidney disease. So we're trying to get her onto a special diet, Um, But she hasn't really regained her appetite, and we've hit a few foods that she just absolutely refuses to eat. And we are, like, slowly transitioning it, but you could tell because she'll take a mouthful of kibble, spit out all the stuff she doesn't want, and eat her old food. Um, So that's been taking up entirely too much time trying to force feed my cat. (laughs) But we're getting there, hopefully. And yeah, she should still be okay for many years if she cooperates and eats her healthy kidney supportive food. But yeah, that put me in a bad emotional state for a little while there because she's my baby, but she is around 14. And I think because my first cat passed away at 14, I was exceptionally paranoid as she's approaching this age. So like every little thing was setting me off like there's something wrong with her. So I'm really glad I brought her to the vet because yeah, we caught it really early. Um, otherwise, I really should have taken some notes. I feel like I had a few things to talk about. Now I'm just rambling, which is what I do best, I guess. Yeah. Oh, um, I am participating more in some Discord channels, so I feel like I'm actually socializing more than normal, which is actually kind of unfortunate. But one of those channels is doing a sketchbook challenge, um, where we're supposed to kind of work in a sketchbook maybe 30 minutes a day not every day but the goal is just to complete a sketchbook by October 1st so I'm finally getting back into regular sketchbooking just for fun and not really like this is my classwork so that that's exciting um I picked a sketchbook that didn't have much left it's an older Mossery sketchbook I have from last year maybe I'll do a uh, video flip through when I'm done with that one we'll see And yeah, I'm just in awkward silence mode again, like looking around. Maybe I'll find something to talk about. And my room's a mess, so it's not really helping because there's just stuff everywhere. I'm sorry. I am completely unorganized. But anyway, I I guess um, my plan now is to get back to doing two videos a month, which was my original goal. Um, I actually have already started the next video. I'm very excited about it. Um, In that one, I'm doing an unboxing 
and I'm going to do a paint uh, swatches and painting with a new set of paints I got from Beam. So that's a really cool company and I look forward to talking about that or rambling, whatever. And yeah, I'm sorry. I think I've said and yeah like 30 times. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I hope everyone's doing well um, and hanging in there during this crazy time. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about, leave me a comment, send me a message. Otherwise, I'll leave some links below because I know I mentioned that landscape painting class. If you're interested, there's actually like a free mini lesson that was a precursor to the course itself that focuses more on value, gradients, and... Um, contrast so that was a really cool little introduction to his teaching style and also some basic concepts that I realized I was lacking horribly on so I will link to that in case you're interested in trying that out and kind of getting an idea of what I was working on no pressure and yeah I guess I'll see you in the next video I apologize for my absence and just rambling and everything but I hope you're well and I'll see you again in the future. Bye.